the corner with the jump shot. That's the sweet spot. Rebounded by Gillespie. Gillespie sprained that ankle against UConn last week. Jamo off the back rim, and the rebound goes three, and it goes, and the Hall on the board. But our Richmond, a guy that big, strong, will back guys down into the post, so to see him knock down a shot from outside, Kevin Lowe's got to be happy with that. Just underway from Philadelphia. Moore inside, right hand off the glass. Another guy, very, very solid player. He's a senior now. And you don't mind, Gus, the 16-footer. It's that 19-and-a-half-footer you don't like from him. That's his game in that 16-foot range. Again, another good sign of the start for Seton Hall. Inside, Dixon, mid-range jump shot off the front rim, no. Three-pointer way off the mark that time for Jackson, the Missouri transfer out of Detroit. I think you'd like to see that ball move sides of the floor before you just come down and take that first jumper. The last big bump fires inside oh. and hits. Just so it allows that, but the extra pass is going to be so important for Seton Hall. Villanova's defense at times they overhelp. You have to be willing to make an extra pass. Trey Jackson on Wednesday versus Xavier, five points. Dixon had a big game against UConn, a double double last week. Very effective in this area, in particular. Left hand off the glass. Hand hand. It's such a nice job. Twice, they're not going for those flops. They might not call a flop, but you're going to have to stand in in a game like this in February and take the hit. You know, one of the coaches came up to me and asked, hey, are Detroit guys tough? I said, why? He said, because we have one that if he gets a little tougher, we're going to have a player in Jackson. And a whistle and foul. Brandon Slater attacking. But here you see, just not sure, Gus. The timing not there. Probably one pivot too many. And really, you got to credit the defense of Villanova by standing in. The Pirates trying to really gather themselves. Here's Slater. You take the hit. You can't fall down. It's a couple of layups now in the paint because Villanova defenders have tried to bait the refs into calling that charge. You can't do it. Not this time of year. Not in an environment like this. Kyle Gillespie playing in a lot of pain. Talked to him before the game. He said it's been an Advil week. Slater, Samuels, and draws the foul. That's an NBA type move. Smart play. Gillespie kicks it. Moore, rise and fire. Short. Loose. Hide. And the ball ripped away by Slater. That was a tough pass. Hard to gather. A good deep. Villanova makes a play on the other end. Baseline jump shot. And Jamo with the rebound. And look at the spacing. Gus, guys in their spots. They create the lanes down the middle of the floor. Always moving Villanova. Filling in those spots. Never standing still. So it makes them so hard to defend. And yeah, Gillespie reaching foul coming up. Again. Make fancy passes. They're going to be solid. And you have to be solid defensively. And this time, Brian Antoine. Uh, an NBA move. A Chris Paul type move. Drawing a foul at one end. Now an NBA shot at the other end by Harris. And that's what he does. You put your hands down, you go under that screen, it's going to make you pay. Largest lead of the game right now for the Hall. Daniels. Baseline again. Antoine this time. He buries it. You trip on a screen, you get stuck by a screen. Guys understand, especially the old guys, Gus. They have some space. They have the wherewithal to step back. And Seton Hall is four for six from three. That's the start you want to get off to in this building. 18-13. Pirates. Hesitation. Moore will leap out into the corner. And fire. Rebound. Hard down the lane. And he's stripped. Daniels hits the deck. Kicks it out. Gillespie. Second turnover for Seton Hall. Gillespie tight handle. Feed Dixon down low across the lane, jump hook. Don't let him get that kind of position. Well, that's how you stay in games against Villanova. You have to stay assertive. 
And Miles Kale had a conversation with him before. Told me, look, I'm running out of time. I'm an old man. <laughs> Got to make every possession mean something. He's doing it. J-Mo muscling his way inside. Turn around, jump shot off the front rick. And a turtle. Gillespie leading the charge. Kicks it out. Antoine steps into a three. Moore with the rebound. New shot clock. Up top, Gillespie. Yeah. That one ripping out for Harris. And in their last game against St. John's, Kyle Gillespie didn't score. However, he really contributed with 10 rebounds. Love the offense that Seton Hall's trying to run, but too many turnovers, Gus. You can't give a, a good team extra chances. So, it, but you have to have some patience if you're Seton Hall. All right, Gillespie, along with Slater, Samuel, Dixon. Across the lane, down the lane, left hand scoop. And it goes down for Jermaine Samuel. Miles Kale loves that baseline jump shot. It's almost like that Bruce Bowen. Bruce Bowen made his career in the NBA from that three ball corner pocket. And so has it Miles Kale in college. Gillespie bump takes it. Dixon, a three. Not his shot yet. Give him a let's stress the positives here, Gus. You get a chance to get back into a little bit of a matchup zone if you're Seton Hall, but you still have to point and talk when that ball goes up. Find a body, even if it's not your man. Daniels feeding Dixon again, steps out mid range. Now wants contact, drop step, baseline, triple pump off the glass, and in. There's a big guy. Lost 20 pounds, double pump. Richmond has it snatched out of his hands by Samuels. Moore the other way. Takes it again. They keep feeding the beast. Goes baseline. Raked out of his hands by Trey Jackson. We got a good one, folks. And it's all because of that three ball again. We talked about it. Miles Kale, the senior three ball corner pocket. Nothing but netting at the other end. Big boy Eric Dixon in a small man's game. 24-22. Seton Hall. All season long, people have been playing Fox Bet Super 6 and winning my money. My money. Now I'm totally, officially flat broke. El busto. Look, Terry, I found a briefcase where you keep all your prize money. Howie, there's no money in here. It's totally empty. Now you can give away even more of your money. Isn't that great? Yeah, great. Download the free-to-play Fox Bet Super 6 app for a chance to win Terry's money. The more who enter, the bigger the jackpot. I'm the latest hashtag challenge, and everyone on social media is trying me. I'm trending so hard that hashtag common sense can't keep up. This is going to get tens and tens of views. But if you don't have the right auto insurance coverage, you could be left to pay for this yourself. Get all state and be better protected from mayhem for a whole lot less. There's a lot that could be said about the new RDX. Could be. With Canary's You Pick 2, every meal is made fantastic. You can be fresh and fun, bold and classic, cozy and precocious. With 465 fresh, clean, craveable pairings, find a You Pick 2 for any mood. Enjoy a $0 delivery fee for a limited time only. Hoops is sponsored by Jeep. There's only one. Welcome back to Philadelphia. 
very competitive first half so far. 7-13 remaining. Two-point game. Gus Johnson, Donnie Marshall with you. And the three ball reigns supreme early on. It really has changed the way the game is played at this level. If, if you can't make a three, it's hard to stay on the floor. Seton Hall averages about seven threes a game. And, and right now, they've already made six. And that's a good sign when you're on the road, but you can't let it turn into fool's gold, Gus, meaning you think you're going to continue to make those. Villanova's going to adjust, and you have to find a way to adjust yourself offensively. They have six already today in 13 minutes. Seton Hall made just seven threes in the first matchup against Villanova. Let's take a look at the numbers. So Justin Moore... Looks like that ankle is okay. He's moving pretty well so far. Samuels double teamed on the baseline. Big hop, right hand up. Lanes and Seton Hall, right now they're doing it to themselves. 11 points off of those turnovers. Can't continue to happen if you want a chance to win this game. Dixon again. Get past top of the arc, Slater. 12 to shoot. Samuels inside. And an offensive foul. <laughs> to the basket type guy, but when you're in that lower circle and you're the biggest human being in the building, you have to shoot it, Gus. You can't make a pass a foot away to a teammate who's not looking at you. Gillespie got his man in the air. Now Samuels sets and hits. Understand when you're winded, not just about scoring at that position, you also have to defend, which is probably the hardest position to defend in college basketball. Gillespie with the hand off to Slater. Dixon trying to get position. On Obiagu inside. Let's see if they look for him. The kick. Samuels tend to shoot. Leads in. Player when he takes his time because you talked about the size he can hit you he uses that pivot well on that play can do more of that all right when you're demonstrating that don't hit me I'm sorry. please i'm sorry you know, don't do the timmy brando <laughs> on me that's what timmy b does folks but timmy b calls the yeah. game he beats up his partners with elbows a... the whole game nice rebound slater goes up and a foul call and away from the physical <laughs> defense <laughs> Here's Gillespie. He's a tough one. Slater shows it, drives, scoop. No. Cleaned up by Yen off the dribble. I'd like to see him put that on the ground against Eric Dixon. A little mismatch. Decided to clear it out for him. Now Gillespie quick fire. Tapped around. Slater rebound to the hole. And comes up short. Here comes him. And Jamo with the rebound. So here we go. Gillespie and Moore in the backcourt. Dixon, Samuels, and Daniels in the front court. Here's Moore working hard. Left hand up. Dixon had two hands on it. Loose ball. Tie up. Possession arrow favors the Wildcats. He's found the mismatch with Justin Moore, with Harris on him. Just couldn't finish it. Villanova has won 11 of its last 13 meetings with Seton Hall, including each of the last four. And right now they're taking a look at the shot clock. 2.53 on the game clock. Now they put 20 on the shot clock. Gillespie deep. Drives, kicks, Samuels. Moore on the baseline, forces his way underneath. Gillespie almost traveled and did. Setting to try to recover. And the Pirates turn it over on the inbound. Daniels in traffic. He loses it. 
take it. 11 points for Kadari Richmond. And Seton Hall takes a 32-29 lead. Gillespie leaves it inside. Really seen some... Gillespie. Three straight turnovers now for Villanova. And they've missed their last six. Dixon. Nice, strong read. You call him legendary. You call my alma mater legendary. Well, I got to see that one. Guys like Ray Allen, Rip <laughs> Hamilton, Donnie Marshall. A lot of legendary players out of UConn. Khaled L.A.B., he was one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Fourteen on the shot clock for Villanova. Here's Gillespie trying to drive. Backs his way in. Can't get the foul. The kick. Samuels rejected. Obiagu got all of it. That is a shot clock violation. Given talents. Nova went the last five minutes of the half without scoring. So we start the second half. Wildcats with the basketball. Gillespie, Samuels, Moore, Slater, Dixon. Moore, deep jump shot. A brick loose and the rebound. And Seton Hall makes a play. Roden with four points now. Kevin Willard, such a, a, a wonderful play designer. Out of halftime, out of breaks. Puts guys in the right spots. Gillespie. And it's... Dribble. Justin Moore was leaving. So now it was one-on-one -on -one under there. Ike Obiagu has to have as much confidence in himself that his teammates have in him. Gillespie, diagonal pass in the corner. Samuels, Dixon with the offensive rebound. New shot clock. Gillespie again. And Slater with another offensive rebound and a whistle. Looks like a foul coming up against Seaton. Offensive rebounds. Tail call for a second. Gillespie drives, stops, feeds, throws it away. Roden had a steam into the front court. Nice looking release on that. Seaton Hall is a team 8 of 15 from the three point line. How about the beautiful under control dribble, drag dribble by Jared Roden looking for a teammate when he knew he didn't have the numbers for transition points? And Obiago with the block. Hill off the dribble. Great contest by. Jermaine Samuels running by, made Kel hang on to it just a little bit, came up short. Takes a great position inside. Win. You recognize if a guy's just stepping on the floor, first time he's on defense, you have to go right at him. Another great play call, great recognition there by the Pirates and Kevin Willard. Kale, 11 points on 4 of 7 shooting. Now Archie Diacono. Moore trying to find a stroke. Inside Dixon. Go to. Drop step. Pump fake. And five. All day, every day. A wonderful shot for him because he's long, because he creates space with the elevation. But he shoots it at 15 to 16 feet. That's his sweet spot. Daniels, he's got to get going offensively for this Villanova team. I agree with that. He's the one guy that has really come a long way this season in figuring out where he fits in. Dixon, determined. Samuel, seven to shoot, drives, stops, pumps, double team. Three to shoot, Daniels. And it's a three. And the rebound to Daniels. Samuels for three. Rims off, snatched down. Nice. Another three. And Gillespie goes up high and pulls it down with both hands. We talked about it. You don't want it to turn into fool's gold. You shot it well in the first half. Can't abandon who you are. Slater goes down. Mitchman spinning in heavy traffic. And stolen away by Moore. Kicks it out. Daniels. Samuels drives.
A lot of contact, but Kevin Willard going to his stud. Clears out the side. Nice little mid-range jumper from Jared Roden. Jared Roden averages 16 a game. He's got eight on 4 of 11 shooting today. 45-43. Baseline, Samuels. Bumping, grinding, and throws it away. Samuel with the rebound, with the... So important when that ball goes up to just put a body. If you're wearing a white uniform, you find someone in a gray uniform and you back up. Can't allow an offensive rebound at this stage of the game. 45 up. And a jump shot. 45, Seton Hall. They're 10-0 and 0 this season, folks, when leading at halftime. And they led at halftime in this game. 6-0 run for the Pirates. How do the Wildcats respond? Daniels, Gillespie. Here's Daniels straight away. And Yetla with his 11th game because Ike doesn't look to score the ball. Sets the pick, he slips, gets ready to rebound. That's where Terry Samuel is so effective with this lineup. 49-45, Nova 5 for 20 for the three-point line in this game. Slater, top of the arc. Brick, loose, Kale, give it here. From the three-point line. It's a great shot. Gives you a nice lead, but you can't abandon your offense because you start to feel it a little bit. Have to continue to take good shots at your seat and all. you got to go inside if you're Villanova to Dixon. He hasn't touched it lately. Samuel. Four. Weaving. Slater slashes. Ducks his head. Four. He's been off today, but he's fouled. Such a good, no good, and more with the rebound in the corner. I don't mind it. Ripped it through on the swing, little 15 footer. Gillespie. Will feed Dixon. Now Dixon will go to work on Samuel. Draws a double. Tied up Yetna. And the possession arrow favors the pipe. Not calling a, a lot of fouls today. Bottom right. Just a little. Well, they called the push on Samuel. I didn't see a lot. His hands were on the back of Dixon, but I didn't see an extension. Tough one. Inside Dixon with position. And knocked away and taken away. Well done. To a teammate, that ball was thrown to Roden, meaning... It was just in his area. A pass means he can catch it and do something with it. I think entry passes are a lost start in basketball. I agree. Game. And that's at every level. So anxious to get the ball in. You still got to deliver it. Here's Samuels. Back door. <laughs> nice box out by Samuels. Three-pointer will level his game. Slater. He pulls it down. Villanova can take the lead right here. A basket here, and this place will explode. Gillespie, bad ankle and all, flips it. Rebound to Samuel. Especially with Aiken out, is to find, have your coach find trust in you. And it's more than just making big shots. It's making big plays and the right plays. That was not the right play. Daniels reverses left hand scoop too strong. And yet side and knows his game. Jermaine Samuels is 6'7, 220, 215. Richmond 6'6, 200. Inside. J Mo draws a triple team. Gillespie. Moore for three. And being on the court. What's the difference between being hurt and injured? Like if, if you're injured, you probably can't play. If you're hurt, gotta go. Gotta go. Take it up. Here's Moore. And a foul. Great dump off by Roden. And that was something we didn't see in the first half by the Pirates. Obiago would catch it and then turn and look directly out. That's why this lineup is working in the second half for Kevin Williams Pirates. Yet the six points, 14 rebounds. Archie Diacono in. Got to handle the pressure. Can't 
pick it up in no man's land. Dixon, seven to shoot. Dixon, double team. Wheeling, short. Bat it around. Bat it out. Archie Diakadero. The Motor City man from Detroit. 62 60. He's got 11. He's hit three threes. Justin Moore. Thinking about it. Moore draws a double. Finds Dixon. Explodes to the hoop. Left hand. No. Gets his own rebound. No. Got it around and yet no. About it. Seton Hall averages seven made threes a game. Well, they've exceeded their daily recommended dose of that by making 11, but this game is not over yet. Daniels, Gillespie, Jamo, Slater, Samuels, Samuels to the basket. Where's Stefan Marbury? He's got 16. How about between the legs, change of direction, using the offhand to finish. More a three. Yay! 154 to play in regulation. Seton Hall, they've got a seven straight possessions with points. Gillespie. Now oh, Daniels, a struggle. Samuel, has got 16. Drives. Slater lost his footing. Ball batted around. Gillespie takes it away. Slater on the baseline. Hustle and quick. Collar the leap. Rims off and the rebound. Goes to Joey Jamo. And he'll bring it up the floor. Plenty of time if you're Seton Hall to just play some good defense. If you're Villanova, do what you do. Use as much of that clock as possible. Here's more. Taking his time. Gillespie turns the corner, steps back. Baseline, Daniels. Way short, Gillespie with the offensive rebound. Shot clock resets at 20. There's the hustle plays you were talking about. That's right, 50 50, dig him out. Gillespie drives, kicks. Jamo deep. Loose, 50 50. And in the corner, Justin Moore. And there's your foul yeah. by Richmond with 16.5 to go. Here's a long pass to Moore. And he's fouled. That's a heck of a throw. And it's a play more and more. Top air ball. Rebounded. Daniels, and that'll do it. Villanova comes back. Jay Wright.